Hi, good day everyone. My name is Baba Kenilo and today I'm going to share with you how to wear Karong Sang. I mean, today we are going to learn about the arts of Karong Sang. I do believe that there are many people outside there they don't know how to wear a proper Karong Sang. The issue is that they are not used to it and then wear it every day and then Another issue is that the gap in between of the Karong Sang and then how they are going to wear Karong Sang. Actually for today, I'm going to share with you two ways of wearing Karong Sang. One is the traditional way like my what my Amma uh, did in the last time and the modern way of wearing Karong Sang. Baba Kenny Lo channel will talk about Penang and talk about the Baba Nonia culture because I'm from Baba Nonia uh, families and uh, it's time for me to continue the legacy and to share what I know to you so that we can spread around the knowledge and then yeah the main, most important thing to continue the legacy if you like my videos please click the subscribe button and also the bell button so that you won't miss any future video and then here it is this is the Karong Sang the purpose of the Karong Sang is to act as the button because as we know Kebaya is come with dark buttons and then there are many of us asking why Kebaya come with no buttons is so inconvenient actually they come with a purpose and you see over here the Karong Sang is yes, at the button and then there's no button for the Kebaya and then why there's no button again I would like to explain why there's no button because it's the kebaya embroidery made by hand or by the vintage sewing machine one piece of kebaya will take months to complete so that it's not like us nowadays is where when we need uh, something you know want to attend event we don't have any dress or anything to wear we just direct to the shops and get it but not last time there's totally no don't have such thing is where they can immediately get their dress especially the kebaya so they need to find ways to suit their body because uh, sometimes especially the woman uh, they become slim or become plump because of the certain uh, reasons like uh, during Chinese New Year or during season like my mom used to gain a little bit of weight what is the consequences they can't wear their kebaya so that's why we design the kebaya is where when the lady is getting plump this part right it will be smaller okay when the ladies become slimmer here this part this part they can adjust to be wider so that the kebaya will become smaller in size so and now we don't waste any time and then now I'm going to share with you how to wear kebaya yes there are two ways and for your info, Karong Sans come with three, three brooches and then with a chain in between, right? What is the purpose of the chain? Actually, it's to avoid the Karong Sang mix up or lost. So with the chain, we will know it comes in the set. Before you wear any crown sang, you have to make sure which one is the first one, which one is the last one to make sure this only we will start to wear the Kalong Sang. If you are looking for Mandarin version of the explanation on how to wear Kalong Sang, you can click the video beside, right? Because there is two versions, I'm making two versions of the video, one in English, one in Mandarin on how to wear Kalong Sang. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to pin the Kalong Sang. And then first, after you wear the Kabaya, make sure the length underneath the length underneath is the same height and make sure it's not uh, it's not one long and one short and then for the traditional way here is the Karong Sang what you need to do is that you make sure the the embroidery of course the embroidery is a mirror image you need to overlap this is the first one once you overlap only you pin it and then here we go for the first one for the first one and then as I said the third one is somewhere around uh, on top of your belly buttons or on top of your belly buttons and then it's the same thing you overlap it
Yep, for the third one, you overlap it and then you, you pin it. Pin through the two layers so that your kabaya will, will stay. And then you see from here, you know where is the first one, where is the third one. And then you look at the mirror if you wear it by yourself. You eat the second one should be in the middle. So at least from here, you know how to adjust where is the Karong San should place. And then you see, this is how we put on the Karong San. One, two, three. Remember, first, third, and the second one. And then here, the first one is up to you whether you want to show off your body or not. If you want, you can look lower a little bit and then if you want to be uh, more conservative you, will, you can pin a little bit higher and then what you should wear over here you can wear a pendant right a necklace with a pendant to to uh, enhance your kabaya this is how we wear for the traditional so for the traditional there's a pro and cons the con is that it has to be straight because we need to pin the overlaps kabaya and then now I'm going to show you how to pin in a modern way is where your kanasan can be slant or maybe vertical or horizontal okay now is the I'm going to share with you how to wear kanasan is the most convenient and easy way and then the modern way and then you can place your kanasan slant uh, horizontal and there are many of us uh, will feel that because and then why we need this way because it's like my ama last time uh, my ama used to wear there the only fashion is kabaya and then she used to wear kabaya every day and even though uh, she closed her eyes she also know how to pin the karong sang it's just that nowadays we seldom wear kabaya we seldom pin the karong sang so uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard for us uh, to pin the karong sang now i'm going to show you the convenience way for 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 the convenience for the convenience way you need to have this safety pins yeah you need at least three to four it depends on your body shapes and usually it will be only three so for the safety pins where should we pin okay when you look at over this part and where we start remember the embroidery is a mirror image we need to close it okay we put it like this and then we pin we pin the safety pin at the back of the kabaya it's something like this when you open up you see the safety pin is at the back and then we go for the second one in the middle it's the same thing to to double confirm to make sure the embroidery they are mirror image like this and then the third one and then you put on the third one let's see we use the safety pins to hold the kabaya so it's much more easier for us to pin the karong sang so it's the same thing the karong sang it should be the first one third one and the second one so it's much more easier just now for the traditional way we need to be uh, straight because we need to pin to hold the kabaya because kabaya with the buttons and now we already have the safety pins to hold the kabaya and then now what you can do is that you can do something different you know some some of them they like their their karong san to be slant you see over here is to be slant a little bit right and then you make sure the chain is zigzag have to be zigzag same thing you pin the last one first Only you pin the second one like this. And then you adjust your cross a little bit. See, it's done. It's so convenient, it's so easy to uh, to wear the karong sang this way. And then remember the karong sang have to be on top. Or the same level of your but, uh, belly buttons because it will make your uh, kabaya or your body looks 
shorter and then you, you are going to have a longer legs so this is how we wear the crown sang and then this is uh, what i'm going to share for today and then thanks for what thanks for watching and then if you like my video don't forget to subscribe and also click the bells beside the subscribe button and then see you next time bye bye